Peace of the Lord be with you. Good morning. This is our devotion for Wednesday, January 18th, and uh, we'll be reading our Old Testament lesson for this week, which is Isaiah chapter 49, verses 1 through 7. I'll be getting this out in the morning. We'll follow the morning order, page 295 in the hymnal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, Isaiah chapter 49, verses 1 through 7. Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you peoples, from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the body of my mother he has named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me away. And he said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing in vanity. Yet surely my right is with the Lord, my recompense with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. He says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to bring back the preserved Israel. I will make you as a light for the nations, that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, and His Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nation, the servant of rulers. Kings shall see and arise, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves, because of the Lord, who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. Let us pray. Blessed Lord Jesus Christ, you are the one chosen, and uh, we thank you that you were called from the womb, that your, your mouth is like a sharp sword with the word speaking, coming forth from it, and that you are hidden in the shadow of the Father's hand, that, uh, that you would be his servant, and in, in you he would be glorified. Uh, we thank you that your, your right is with the Lord, your recompense with him, and that... Um, that you were you were sent to bring Israel to be gathered to him, and not only Israel, but the whole world, all the nations. You are rightly honored in his eyes, and, um, and, and you are light for the nations, that, that your salvation would reach the end of the earth. And um, we give thanks for you, and we pray that as you have been called, and as you have been chosen, and as you have called us and chosen us in you, that... We would enjoy the magnificence of seeing you face to face eternally and um, the blessings of eternal life in your heavenly kingdom as you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, so a um, uh, very, very Christological passage here, although, although you know, sometimes it's hard to, um, to know exactly how to to apply all these things specifically to Christ, um, but but in the general kind of the general theme of this passage, it's very clear that this is this is about Christ, right? So uh, listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you you peoples from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb. Excuse me, from the body of my mother, He named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of His hand, He hid me. He made a made me a polished arrow. In His quiver, He hid me away. He said to me, "You are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified." And uh, and as we hear all that, you know, think of how christological that is. Christ, uh, you know, called from the womb, right? And, and and this this makes sense with the with the passage because you have John the Baptist saying, "Yeah, this is the one who was called, right? Behold, the Lamb of God who was called, who 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 whose mouth, you know, the one whose sandal I'm worthy to untie. His mouth is like a sharp sword. That that word of God." Uh, coming from it, and 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 we think of the 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 the, the, the two-edged sword, as it's called elsewhere. Um, you know, the, the the edge of the law, cutting down that sinner in us. You know, to, to giving death to our death, um, but the the, the sword, the, the blade of the, the gospel, bringing new life to us, defending us, and 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 um, and, and bringing us to 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 that that kingdom. Um, and this is one of those spots. Then, verse four, where where it says, "I have labored in vain and have spent my strength for nothing in vanity." Um, you know, that's that's. Um, you know, I, I think this is this must be something that that ties into the 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 humiliation um, of, of Christ and and the the temptation of that human nature that Christ had has um, to um, to feel as though 
as he was laboring, this, this, is, this is for nothing. Um, but, but then the reflection of the trust, yet surely my right is with the Lord, my recompense with God. So that the, the faith, that perfect faith that he had even as, as a human, and, 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 and that reflecting and saying, despite how empty and vain this feels, then um, I know it's not, it's not for naught, right? And, and that's a good reminder for us as we are in Christ. Um, you know, so, so much of what is said about Christ we can take to heart as we are in Christ, as we are, are joined to Christ, as we are united with Him, as we are, we are His body, that, that, um, that we too are called, that we too are, are as, as it says, now the Lord says, He who formed me in the womb to be His servant, to bring Jacob back to Him, that Israel may be gathered to Him, you know, that we are formed from the womb to be His servants, and, and that even when things feel like they are, they are for naught, they are not for naught, right? Um, back to back to, to Christ here, but but he is formed from the womb to, to bring Jacob back, to, to bring Israel, gathering him. And of course, um, you know, as we're, we're studying Romans in um, our Wednesday Bible class, you see this theme there a lot, uh, first for the Jew, then for the Gentile. Sadly, the rejection of Christ by by Israel as a whole. Um, you know, it's not as though every, every Jewish person re rejects Christ. Uh, you have those who, who come to faith, but, um, but, but this, this general uh, this general rejection, sadly, by, by by the Jewish people, you see it in the time of Jesus, uh, and you see it in the early church, and and, and so forth, right? Um, and the Lord says, "Now, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, my and God has has become my strength." So, you know that that exaltation. I think of Philippians two, always with that, that He has given the name that is above every name, um, because he, because He He humbled that flesh to 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 perfect obedience to, to death, even death on a cross, right? Um, and so he says, so this is Christ speaking here. Is it, it is too light a thing that you should, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. God says, it is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. I will make you as a light for the nations. So you, here, you see, here you see the call of the nations, right? Uh, that my salvation may reach the end of the earth. So, so the Christ being not just for the Jew, but for the Gentile first, for the Jew, then for the Gentile. Right. And then that says Yahweh, yes, uh, that says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel and His Holy One, to one deeply despised, abhorred by the nation, the servant of rulers. Kings shall see and arise, princes, and they shall prostrate themselves because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. And that, that behold the Lamb of God whose, whose sandal I am worthy, unworthy to, to, to tie, right, uh, to, to untie. Um, he must become more, I must become less, not only us saying that, but the the whole world, uh, that at the name of Jesus, every knee, knee in heaven and on earth and under the earth we bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Right, uh, we confess the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.